Hello everyone, today kind of an announcement, the Happy Model ES24TX Slim Pro. This is an Express LRS module, and this fits in our game style controllers like uh, the X-Lite. This happens to be the X-Lite Pro, or I've read some of you are switching from your Tango 2s over to Express LRS. If you're not familiar with Express LRS, uh, longest range, fastest packet, meaning you get tighter feel of controls. Um, and it's also less expensive. Pretty big deal, especially with the prices. They keep going up on all our electronic components. Uh, I think if you're looking at this, you're probably asking questions about the beta FPV. Let's cover this one real quick. Uh, this has got all metal construction and it does have a fan inside here as well. Uh, this is not a button. That's where the LED light is and it does change colors. And uh, so you have heat dissipation that can happen throughout this. This is also, it fits more snugly on the back of uh, the transmitter. You actually, when you press it in, you have to actually press fairly firm against the radio in order to get it to click down. Let's see if I can do this on camera. There we go, a little hearty snap there. Right now, you won't find this in the Express LRS configurator, but I'm sure it won't take long as fast as all the devs are moving on Express LRS. By the time you order one and it gets to you or it gets to a shop near you and you buy one, It'll probably be in there. Uh, I made the mistake of thinking that I could just flash the previous uh, ES24TX firmware on there. And if you do that, the fan doesn't work. So lesson learned. Right now you have to download uh, what's already on here from the Happy Model website. And the fan does kick on whenever you're running 250 milliwatts. But, you know, unless you're doing some true long range, we probably don't need that. Uh, it does go up to one watt as well, so that's another sort of advantage uh, that you might be looking for in this particular uh, hardware. Uh, to compare it to the Beta FPV, I've covered this before, so if you're looking for more details, I'll put a uh, my original video to this and some of their other hardware down in the video description. Uh, this is plastic construction. Uh, this silver part right here. Uh, those raised ridges, those are part of the heat sink, and it does get pretty warm. No fan in this one, uh, and it goes up to 500 milliwatts. Had to check my notes there real quick. Um, this does have a bind button on the back, too, so that could be handy for some of you. This one does not. You have to use the bind command either through the Lua script or you have to use passphrase binding. Uh, this one does get pretty hot. I've flown this one outside in the hot, you know, we're kind of in the tail end of the dog days of summer. And while it doesn't get hot enough, at least in my use cases, that it's uncomfortable to the finger, if you put it, like I described in one video, in more tender skin areas, maybe the inside of your forearm, I sometimes carry stuff like this because I just grab stuff and go fly in the backyard, uh, it can be uncomfortable in those particular areas to where you wouldn't want it to have it sitting on there very long, especially if it's still powered on. Uh, we do have some uh, antenna options that you can choose to this it's probably not going to matter much unless you're doing that extreme long Wesley Vardy sort of testing. Most of us common folk, we're going to be fine with the whip or linear antennas that they come with. This one doesn't come with this Moxie antenna, by the way. One question I see coming up about Express LRS all the time is if I buy this TX module or this TX module, can I use this receiver and that receiver? As long as they're running the same frequency, like these are 2.4 gigahertz. So if you buy these, any of these, and then the Minmo or whatever else comes out on the market. I think I saw HGLRC pop up in the uh, configurator, so their hardware will be hitting the market soon. You just have to buy the same frequency. So 2.4 gigahertz TX module, 2.4 gigahertz receiver. Whether it's got an antenna, whether that antenna is the short little square stubby, or it's got a long, more traditional antenna on it, it doesn't matter. Express LRS helps all this hardware work together. Um, if you buy 915 megahertz or you buy 868 megahertz, you just have to get the receivers that run those same frequencies. That's that's really it. You can buy whatever you want when it comes to the Express LRS hardware that works for you as long as they're on the same frequencies and they will work together. So that makes things pretty simple. Uh, one other thing to watch out for with Express LRS, I'm a micro person. I like to use, or I use a lot of whoop type boards and a lot of builds these days. 
you have to make sure that you have a free UART. And that's a question I've been getting a lot about particular boards and I have to go to the board manufacturer's website and look at the board. So you need a full UART, meaning you need a full RX and TX and they need to be the same number. So if it's RX2, it needs to be TX2. If it's RX1, we need to have a TX1. So oftentimes it just says R1 and T1 because the boards are so small, but you need a full UART in order to be able to wire up your receiver and those to uh, be able to work with your protocol. Uh, sometimes in some of our Whoop boards, we might lose smart audio. I don't have a running index of those. If you've got smart audio selected on UART2 and you see RX2 and TX2 is your UART pads and your boards and it's the only ones you got, it's very likely you'll lose smart audio in order to be able to run Express LRS. That's just kind of the way it is until we see some of the board manufacturers catch up. Sometimes, hopefully, that RX and TX is associated with the onboard receiver, which at that point, when you're running Express LRS, you don't care. And probably the thing I should have mentioned at the get-go is one of the reasons why I advocate for this so much, especially being a micro guy, is we can do this for relatively inexpensive, get tremendous feature set in the software, and we can get rid of D8 mode. We don't have to deal with receivers and, and deal with FRSky and their firmware additions. We just, really D8 or D16. I know D16 still works on both the radios, but they're kind of playing difficult. You never know what your receiver is going to come with, so you might have to flash it, and you might not have what you need to flash it, so then you're in a waiting game, or you have to go find somebody that helped you with that. So anyways, that's one of the big reasons why uh, I'm a huge advocate for Express LRS. The hardware is inexpensive. They, they work together. You can get tiny little receivers, tiny little receivers. This one's still wired up and sitting on my desk for a while. Probably can't even see that. It's got that little square antenna on top. It's actually made of plastic. But, I mean, this... Every time somebody posts the picture of this to receiver, and they say, I heard it was small, I didn't know how small. These things are tiny. Weighs a half a gram. And when you're doing micros, that's awesome. Happy Model ES24TX Slim Pro. Uh, it used to look like... Uh, it used to be bigger. It used to have the Iron Man on it. I never had that one. Um, there's a few shops that were selling those. I think those still work fine. Uh, this is a new smaller module and it's uh, probably got a little bit of different construction. Of course, I can't compare that for you. Uh, this should be hitting the, the store shelves. You'll see some product listings on some websites for this and I'll put whatever listings I can find uh, down in the video description. Um, I have a couple of other videos about, about Express LRS. I'm not a wizard at it. I would highly encourage you if you have any difficulties, I'll sure try to help you, but if you have any difficulties, uh, hit the Express LRS uh, Discord um, server. It, they, they've got a good group of, a big good group of people that really know their stuff, and they've helped me a few times. So, you know, if you got a question, sure, I'll, I'll take a whack at it, but it's very likely we'll have to go over to the Discord and ask for, especially those one-off questions. You know, I've done a number of these receivers now, and uh, I was testing this one, by the way. If you follow the channel closely, I was doing some video reception testing and just kind of wondering if the receiver was causing an issue, and I also tested this hardware with that one. Um, but this is on the market. Express LRS, I think, is the way to go, especially for micros. Um, and for those of us that are just common folk out here trying to have fun, have a good time, I, I, I think it's going to work great. And I'll put links, as I said, down in the video description to where you might be able to pick up uh, the Happy Model ES24TX Slim Pro. And that is the one I would recommend uh, at this time if you have an x Lite, whether it's the Pro version or not, or if you have a Tango 2. Uh, I just think the construction is better and that fan could be important, especially if you have heat like I have heat. Now, I don't know what the thermal limits are of this hardware, but it gives me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that that fan is on, so it's doing its job to help do some cooling. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.